Blessings, family. How's everybody doing? You know, I pray all is well with you. Welcome back. I'm not going to be before you long. I just stopped by for a moment to encourage you all out there. I want to talk about David today when David was being anointed as king. I know that a lot of you all have been called by God and you have been anointed in this final hour. So the Lord began to deal with me concerning this text right here. But first of all, I want to say that I bless God for each and every one of you who have been supportive unto this channel, and I welcome the newcomers on today. So let us dive into the word of the Lord and see what the Lord is saying concerning his children. Once again, that is 1 Samuel 16. I want to read verse 7. It says, But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his statue, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearers and the doers of his word. Once again, we already know that Samuel was commissioned, you know, to go and see Jesse and Jesse had to, you know, run all of his sons, you know, in front of him so that Samuel could anoint the right person. When we back the text back up, it also talks about Samuel mourning for Saul. And the Lord began to ask him, how long are you going to mourn for him? I've already rejected him. So he commanded him to move forward and go and anoint David as king. And after all the sons had passed by, the Lord began to say, not him. You know, he's not the one. And then that's when Samuel began to ask Jesse, is it another one? And then that's when Jesse said, yes, he had one that was out there tending to the sheep. So you could imagine he was out there. He was all dirty, you know, and everything else. So he began to, you know, ask him to come in. And remember, Samuel said that he was not going to sit down until he came. And when David came, glory to God, we already know what the text said. It said that Samuel began to anoint him. Glory to God. He was the chosen one. And I say this today. I know that a lot of you all have been looked over, but the Lord has chosen you for such a time as this. Don't worry about what the naysayers are saying. Don't worry about what nobody else is doing. Get ready to walk in the things that God has called you to do. Glory to God. Because the enemy want to make it seem like, oh, you're not the one. God could not uh, choose no one like you. The devil is a liar on today and I come to serve him notice that God can choose whoever he want to choose. Glory to God. So people of God, don't worry about when people are coming through, they're looking all over you because they're looking at your countenance and everything else. The Lord is saying, not so. This is the one right here. Glory to God. I see her heart. I see his heart. Glory to God. This is the one that I'm choosing right Right here. So once again, don't worry about what the enemy is trying to do. He's always trying to make it feel like the Lord has not called you. The Lord has not chosen you for such a time as this. No, don't worry about that. You keep walking in what God has given you. God has anointed you for a time as this people of God. So keep moving in the things of God, no matter what the enemy is trying to say. That is what people do. I've seen them do it numerous of times. You know, just look over you like you're nobody, but you are the one. You are the special one that God has chosen. You are the one and don't let nobody else tell you different. Glory to God. And I know it is a reason for a lot of you all staying connected to this channel. I'm here to encourage you. You are the one people of God. Yes, God can use you too. He can use you too. Yes, a lot of people, they have it bad. And we know that God is not no respecter of person, but man will do that in a minute. Yes. So you all be encouraged out there and just know that if God chose you is nothing that man can do about it. And what did he tell Samuel? He said, don't look at his appearance. Yes. A lot of people have that bad looking at your appearance. Yes, they do. You know, sometimes, you know, you could be in your little downtime, you know, where you're not dressed up and everything else. I've seen people do it, but they never know who they have encountered. They never know. Yes. 
But when God began to raise you up, glory to God, we already know that the naysayers are going to have to be quiet. You know, I didn't know she was chosen. I didn't know he was chosen. No, because you were looking at the outer appearance. God did not look at the outer appearance. He looks at the heart. That's what people do not understand. God looks at the heart. Glory to God. So keep your heart clean before the Lord. Keep it pure before the Lord, people of God, because you have been chosen for such a time as this. So walk in everything that God has given you. Don't worry about who passed you up because they're going to look up one day. God going to raise you all the way up. And we already know that we have to go through a season where God is teaching us. He is guiding us. So just keep walking with the Lord, people of God. Keep your heart pure. Remember, he's looking at the heart. He's not looking at the outer appearance. Amen. Amen. I just came in, you know, real quickly to help someone out there. You have been chosen for such a time as this. Don't worry about it. When they walking past you, acting like they don't see you, they see you. They see you. And a lot of times people see you, but they're trying to shut the light down. I've been through that a lot. And I'm one of them, you can't shut me down. Because I know who I am and whose I am. So get to that point where you know who you are and whose you are. And keep walking in the things of God. My time is up here. You all know that I love you with the love of Christ. And I will be back at that appointed time. And until then, you all stay blessed.